All right, let me see the Akumer. The Akumer. Axel Primal's new DLC is quite funny. Axel Primal. All right, Akuma. Akuma. What's good, everybody? What's good, T-Bob Kick? What's good, Notification Squad? It's your boy. <laughs> Be a monkey. And we're going to watch Akuma. They dropped the teaser with Akuma. Let me see this shit. Oh, let me put it on sound. <clears throat> Akuma. Of course, you got like an underground temple type of fucking hell, fucking uh, hurricane, uh, hell shit, volcano shit. Damn it, buff! Thousands of strikes exchanged. They forged his spirit. I gotta crack it up. Damn! Engraved into his very being. So you can. Fists with ambition so great. What the fuck? The soar beyond the very heavens. Misuts. <laughs> Misuts. Of course, the stains. Oh wait, wait a minute. He did this. Wait, chat. Whoa, 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 whoa. He did the stains, but there's not not the uh, heaven sign. Has he surpassed that shit? Oh, maybe. Maybe. It's Shin Akuma, right? I mean, I would. He got white hair. I mean, maybe he's just old. Maybe he's just way older. You know, that could also be a thing. And he got gray hair now. But I believe that Shin Akuma is like. He's like. Max potential and he got like he get like the white hair, but then again you have Oni as well So maybe he's getting to the point of like You know Just just Oni is like and and Shinokuma is just like his normal shit now That could be a thing Um, But I think it, I think it, it might be he's, he's just old Now he's all the cheats. Yes. Uh, Akuma is literally actual final boss character. And you want to know why I know he's actual final boss character? Let me tell you why, chat. You see the top knot he got right here? Hold on. Let me do this real quick. Yeah, shout out to activate windows. You see the top knot he got right there? The top knot is actually like... He, he got hair now. <laughs> He got hair. Remember like in the other fucking like when he has that little small fucking top knot where you almost can't fucking see shit? Now he actually got a legitimate top knot. He has fully transcended. Transcended chat. Full on. Uh he's probably in a state between Akuma and Oni. I would I would think so. But isn't that Shinakuma though? Shinakuma is like him going like, you know, full power, next level, all that shit. And then Oni is like him breaking his like limit or some shit like that. Well, actually, let me say it like this. Um Ono. You know the Street Fighter character Ono from uh, First Strike? I think that was his name. Ono? Wasn't that his name? Street Fighter 3 First Strike. 
Oro, 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 not Ono. I'm thinking about uh fucking. I, I was thinking about uh the creator of Street Fighter Four and Five. Oh no, Ono is the creator of Street Fighter, uh Four and Five. Oro, the guy with the turtle shit, the one arm and all that shit. Lore wise, uh Oro is Akuma's rival, which is kind of fucking crazy. It really, is, it really, is, it actually just says how crazy Oro is, and in the lore, um. He is fighting Akuma with one arm behind his back, as we know. That's how he fights. And he, when he fights with full potential, like goes all in, he's using two arms. He's still using one arm against Akuma. But in the lore, it says if Akuma goes all in, so Shin Akuma or Oni or whatever, and Oro goes, you know, using two arms, they both will end in a draw because they will both die. So nobody wins. That's how powerful Oro is, apparently. Uh, but maybe, maybe Yakuma is kind of like surpassing that right now. Maybe I'm not sure though. But that's that's the lore that they're rivals, and if they both went all in, they would uh both die. So it's kind of fucking dope. You have fucking Akuma. Oh wait, he got a beard. Yeah, he still got the beard. He still got the fucking Lion King beard. That's what I'm saying, man. He might just be growing old. Or he doesn't have like a... It's not like a big, massive beard like in Street Fighter V. It looks a little bit trimmed now. It looks a little bit trimmed. My man went to the fucking... He, he got a haircut. He went to the barber. Of opponents. My man oh. went to the barber. Bro, look at his stage, though. What the fuck? That's literally in a volcano. He's just chilling in a volcano. And there's like giant fucking Oni statues. That he's using. For target practice. He literally does like, an, like a Hadouken motion here. But no fireball. But he does the Hadouken motion. Breaks it. And then he does a Shoyuken. He literally Shoyukens. A fucking Oni statue. And he even hits him. In the fucking chin. Just like you're supposed to do in. Sure you can. That is fucking. I'm actually happy that. They showed that much. I thought. Honestly God said. When you told me like. Oh they. They tease Akuma. I thought it was just going to be like. A five second or some shit like that. This is like a lot more. A lot more. So. Kasia real stressed him. Made his hair white. <laughs> Yo, shout out to the chat. You guys are just sitting there in the chat right now. You're like, oh, you know, he's done beating asses in Tekken. And some of you guys are like, oh, you know, Kaza gave him a hard time. You know, that's why he got fucking gray hair now. But if you look at this, when he does this show, you can. It looks like, like a spirit that's coming out of his body. I can't tell if that's just like a Oni kind of like Aku. Keep in mind, chat. Akuma means demon. In uh in Jap in Japanese Akuma, Akuma, we call him Akuma, but it's actually pronounced Akuma. Um, I can't tell if that's supposed to be like a hint, cause like he does see, you don't really see his face that much. He got white eyes, you know all that shit. It kind of gives me like. The whole Oni vibe. We might honestly got to see like a mix between Akuma and Oni. In his fighting style. I think that would actually be kind of dope. Could you imagine that? So like uh, Street Fighter 4 Oni. With some Street Fighter 5 Akuma shit. Oh boy. That's actually going to be gross. That's He looks good though. He's still got his fucking big old snot though. He got his big old, big old nose. But he looks good, though. I mean, Akuma's always looked good, though. It doesn't matter. Why is there a moon? What's that supposed to mean? Like a blood moon type of Shoryuken? Is that what it's supposed to be? Fists with ambition so great that seek to soar beyond the very heavens. Bro. 
they oh my god they're glazing him so hard right now they're glazing him have you seen some of the fucking uh, quotes that akuma has when he fucking wins one of his winning quotes is something like your body just like let me find that one hold on i, I, I gotta find it i gotta find it i gotta pull up the killing moon street fighter theme because somebody quoted that shit in the youtube comments yeah right here Listen, this is this is one of Akuma's fucking winning quotes. Your body assumed its proper form when my fist tore it apart. Akuma slash Goki. His real name, Goki. Because his brother name is Goken. Bro. Fucking savage. Savage fucking quote. Your body fucking... Your body assumed its proper form when my fist tore it apart. Bro, chill. Chill. Like, damn. <laughs> Holy shit. I hope we got a, uh, a remix theme from uh, the one in Alpha 3 and the Alpha 3 stage. Like, when kind of seeing this teaser. I gotta be honest. I have to be... Uh, chat. No. No. I don't care. I don't want to hear Street Fighter 4 theme. I don't want to hear Street Fighter 5 theme. I don't want to hear fucking Alpha theme. There's only one true theme for Akuma. And I hope that they bring it back. Remix a little bit more streetwise. But still keeping the good old drum and bass. A.K.A. Jungle Mix. And that is Killing Moon. <laughs> I don't hear it. I don't hear it. There's nothing that beats this theme. This is the best Akuma. I hit my microphone. Akuma theme. I don't want to hear it. I, no. End of discussion. It's not up for discussion. Full stop. Full stop. I don't want to hear it. Yes, he got other themes that's, that's good as well, but I don't want to hear it. Full stop. Full stop. I want to see some. I want to see Tokido at fucking the Evo fucking 2027 because you know this carriage is coming out like in three years from now. <laughs> 2027. It's not even three years. It is three years. Three years from now. 2027. Okay. I want to see Tokido Evo Grand Finals. He pulls off this sickest fucking combo, and the only thing you hear is just this. Full stop. Full stop. End of discussion. I don't want to hear it. Full stop. Full fucking stop. Fucking. Fucking lock the car. Take the battery out. Take the gas out. Full stop. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> no. Territory expansion. His aura manifested around uh, him to uh, punch. His aura manifested around him to punch. What do you mean? What do you mean his aura manifested around him to punch? I mean, yes, this. His aura is, like, coming out. That's what I was talking about, like, with the whole, like... Like, is he, like, manifesting, like, Oni and all that shit? That, that was the thing that I was, like, questioning. Um... I wouldn't even say it's, like, his, his like, his body, like, manifesting. I wouldn't even say that. Or, like, his aura. I think this is just, like, Satsu no Hado. This is just like he has so much like think about like one piece type of shit. Uh like hockey. He has so much fucking congress hockey that is just oozing out of his body. And if you and you and you 
you know, if you're up to date with One Piece, if you've seen Shanks at Wano, the whole Wi-Fi uh, fucking hockey he did on fucking uh, uh, Green Bull and all that shit, that's what we got going on right here. This is just Satsuna Hado on Wi-Fi. That's what's going on right now. A coomer. Yeah. A fucking coomer. Actually, it's Go Shoryuken. That depends if it is actually like uh, Oni's Shoryuken though. It looks like it's Oni Shoryuken. And I'm pretty sure Oni Shoryuken is not called Go Shoryuken. Go Shoryuken is the, is the definition of the Satsu Nahado version of uh, Shoryuken. But uh, Oni's Shoryuken is different. If I remember right, I think it's called something else. So you have Ryu's, which is called like Senpu Shoryuken. If he does like his like ultimate one, it's like Senpu Shoryuken. Uh, and then you have Ken's, which is uh, Shin Shin Shoryu Pa, some shit like that. Uh, and then obviously Satsuki no Hago is Go Shoryuken. Uh. I wonder if that's going to be a visual look when he fights with some moves because it's kind of like the right rush aura that happens but red. Yeah, but like, I don't know. That's that's why I'm saying like it might be like Oni. So like if he's like supposed to become like Shinakuma or he's like on his way to become Shinakuma according to this. Maybe and, and we know that Oni is like the next step. So that's why I'm like, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. What does uh uh what does Goken call his Hadouken? Not his Hadouken, his uh, Shoryuken. I forgot. I think it's actually just called the Shoryuken. Yeah, I think it just calls it the uh, the reason why Ryu was getting the Satsu no Hado was because he was so close to like he was he was so close to the traditional. Uh, like Hado fighting style, and according to Akuma, the original version of the Hado fighting style is Satsui no Hado. So that's why when Ryu he is so traditional to his stuff, that's why you know the whole evil Ryu and like Satsui no Hado and all that shit like kicks in. The reason why you don't really see Ken or like Sean or anything like that. Where Sasu no Haru is kicking in for them. Um, that is because they have the Hado fighting style. But they uh, they have styled. They have stylized their, their own way to use it. No, he doesn't use it because he thinks uh, it's forbidden. Yes, he thinks it's forbidden. But he can't help himself. Because the point that I'm trying to make is that he is so traditional when it comes to his Hado fighting style and the Satsui no Hado is the tradition that's why when he uses his Hado fighting style uh that's why sometimes like Satsui no Hado like triggers like he gets angry or whatever the kind of thing is where Ken and Sean and Dan they don't even have a glimpse of like Satsui no Hado that's because when they use like the Hado fighting style, it's because they're using their own style. They create their own style. So the more close you are to the traditional style, the closer you are to the Satsui no Hado as well. That's what Trigger is. So. Uh, he calls it Forbidden Shoryuken when he does his ultra, if I'm correct, in Street Fighter 4. So his Senpu? Anyways! Anyways! Okay, we. I'm, I'm not gonna go on a rain on that. I've already recorded for like fucking 19 minutes. Akuma looks sick. That's all we need to know, and uh, he's gonna be a fucking problem. That is all you need to know. If I'm wrong in the lore when it comes to like the Satsu no Hado, please correct me if I'm wrong. I don't mind that, or at least like look it up or some shit like that. I just go from what I remember in the lore. 
Maybe to change the lore for all I fucking know, but that's how I remember the lore. The reason that was the same thing, like in the comics book with like uh, Goken. The reason why Goken survived the uh, the Mizatsu was because, you know, he did the whole um, the power of, the power of nothingness, and when you use the power of nothingness, it's something like your soul kind of leaves your body or some shit like that. And when you do the Mizatsu, like the raging demon, you straight up attack the soul, but there was no soul to attack, so that's why he survived it. Or some shit like that. In Street Fighter Five is Go Show You Can. Or Go Show You Can. Akuma. Akuma. Yo, Inconsider Raccoon is gonna go wild when he sees this. He's gonna go wild. But what do you guys think about uh, like the design and whatnot? Do we like the design? I like the design. This is fucking sick. I think he looks fucking sick. The teasers, the art, and all that shit. Everything looks cool about him. And you know when he comes out, everybody gonna be playing him. Everybody gonna be playing him. Boy. It's not gonna be fun. Because every motherfucker gonna be playing him. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that bullshit. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of... Ah... Coomer. Coomer. This was recorded live, by the way, on Twitch.tv slash Crispy Monkey. So, I'm not editing the shit. I'm just throwing this shit up. You got me fucked up. But I uh, love you guys. Appreciate you guys. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace! And...